it's me, Stone the Bean, and welcome back to some more Project Ozone Light. Yes, we are back here on the server. And, um, yeah, um, I am joined by uh, Basmanian Devil, uh, Jamas252, and Ozzytron15. Um, guys, if you are still enjoying this series, then please do hit that like button down below. Also, if you're new to my channel... Please do subscribe for daily Minecraft videos. Please do tell all your friends about the channel. And uh, do all that great stuff because it really does help out a lot. And if you want to come and join the server, then head on over to Patreon. Uh, you don't have to be American uh, to come and join the server. Somebody said, uh, I'm not American. I can't join. Uh, you, you don't have to be American. Um, you, I'm English. Um, I'm on the server. Uh, yeah, so if you want to do that, head on over to Patreon. Anyway, let's get on with today's episode. So last episode... Um, if I recall correctly, we automated this uh, for for making stuffs. Um, this should be oh, that's not good. Yeah, there you go. Start start crafting all that through there. Oh, please, please. Okay, that's because we have so much iron in the system. It is uh, it's not going quick enough. I need some speed upgrades to to stop this from making so much iron. Um, yeah, look, we're, we're kind of full on ores and stuff like that. And as soon as I get rid of all this iron, I will kind of show you uh, what what it is. Uh, that was a weird lag. Uh, what it is that I've been doing. Um, the copper ore can go. I've got, I've got tons of it. I just, I need this iron going through. Um, so yeah, so this is all set up. And I was sifting sand because uh, obviously we have our sand production going on here. I was sifting sand to get myself some Eulorium because I wanted Eulorium um, so that I could... Does that fit into there? Yes, it does. I wanted Eulorium here uh, so that I could look at making uh, an extreme reactor. But I don't need to because I have in my golden lasso a fluid Eulorium cow. So I can make Eulorium... Uh, no problem. Um, uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much uh, it for that. Um, I put a roof on here. I can't remember where I told you that, but I've done that. Um, I do have a present over there from Basmanian Devil, and I will go and have a look at it. But first, I wanted to set up this and show you something cool that you may not have seen before. Uh, I just had to ask Jay how to use this because I used it on a live stream, and it was kind of cool. And, um, yeah, I, I totally forgot. Right, so let's do this because this is how it all usually sits. Uh, so if we place that there, we have our Eulorium Fluid Cow. And I should have the Tyrian blocks on me to do this. There we go. Cool. Uh, so the next thing I'm going to need to do is take some of you um, and place you there, please. Thank you. Uh, the next thing I'm going to need is this. And we'll place this just here. Now, Kanajan said to me, you don't need to put a filter on, on, on both of them. You can just do it with one. And she was right. So if I take this conduit probe, if I hold... Uh, let me stand here. If I hold shift and mouse wheel, it will turn orange. That is now in copy and paste mode, I believe. So if I hold shift and then right click on here it's copied the conduit settings now if i right click on here it will do the same settings there now if i do the shift and right click here it will input the same settings there so we now can see that it is going in on brown out on green and that's just copied all the settings for me i've just done a load of these and um it didn't take me all that long so kind of cool thing to have set up uh so if i put my bucket into here uh, it's going to start taking the bucket, but that's fine because I will turn that off and put that in. Should have a bucket hiding around here somewhere. There we go. There's the bucket. Uh, so if I put my bucket in here... Now, I don't know how long this is going to take. Hopefully, it will do it straight away. Yes, it does. We have fluid Eulorium bucket. And then if I just add this to the whitelist of things that can be pulled out and then put this back into here, turning the redstone mode back on... We should see Eulorium go into there. Yes, we do. So we have a, a thousand millibuckets of Eulorium. We've got Vapor of Levity. We've got Molten Platinum. We have Molten Lumium. Not even sure what that's going to be, but sounds interesting. Uh, molten Silver. We have Lava. We have Molten Base Essence. Uh, molten Refined Obsidian. Molten Manulin. 
Jellied Cryothium. Now I have two cows in there doing Jellied Cryothium. That's why I've got so much of that. And then we have Refined Glowstone. So what I need to do is just go and make myself an absolute ton of um, of the, uh, uh, the the tanks, uh, not tanks, uh, drums, so that I can get all those placed down and collecting. Um, I can't remember quite how the recipe went, so I need 10 of these. Oh, no, 11 now, isn't it? It's 11. So I need 11 of those. I need uh, 22 of these. There we go. And then I need uh, 22 of you. Do I not have enough? No, 11. That's fine. Uh, why am I thinking I needed 22? Because I am insane. Right, there we go. Let's put that over there. And then let's just go and place all these drums down quickly so that I can start collecting. That refined glowstone is already full. Um, so let's do this. And then all I have to do is set them to push into these tanks and we have lots and lots of new fluids that I can start using um, and I've already been making use of this one the the uh, the, 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 the uh, blazing pyrothium because uh, you can use it to um, run the smeltery and I believe I'd be able to use it to create power as well um, and it will probably uh, work a lot better than, um, than normal lava, I would imagine. So uh, that should be quite interesting and something we can get into. Um, but I am kind of heading towards or gearing up towards extreme reactors now that I have the Eulorium cow because I can leave that running for quite a long time and hopefully uh, get myself a lot of Eulorium ingots. Um, and it's pretty easy to do because I can just milk them uh, straight from these, these drums here using a faucet from... Tinker's construct and having it just go straight into a um, straight into a casting table and making the ingots for me. So that's going to be kind of cool to do. So uh, now I've done this, I'm almost there. Um, let me just get to the last few. There we go. Push. There we go. And then I'm I'm really excited about having the Eulorium. I'm I'm very excited because I can use that as fuel for my reactor. How cool is that? It's pretty cool. Right, so they're all running. And uh, also to mention, um, like, like Kanajan says, I don't need uh, to place uh, a filter in there. I've got them running in the other ones, but I don't need them. Uh, so, right, that is done. Uh, let's go over here and check on the cows. Uh, I have a new one. It is liquid XP. Uh, I have sap. I don't feel I'm going to need sap, so you're getting killed. Uh, what do we got here? Dew of the Void. No, thank you. Heavy Water? Not sure what Heavy Water does. Solium. That's a good one to get. Um, let's get rid of you and uh, get rid of you. Um, I'm still having the issue with killing the horses, uh, but I found a new little trick. Uh, if a horse ever spawns, I'll show you. Um, but it's literally... I can, I can show you with the Enderman. Let's pick up this guy. Enderman is a hostile mob. Oh, I can't pick him up unless I've got a dark one. Ha. Um, okay, never mind. Uh, uh, can I get that chicken? Chicken, chicken, chicken. No, okay, never mind. I'll show you some other time. Uh, also, I uh, should really talk about the charm belt here. Um, I was told to make this, and I'm sorry, once again, I cannot remember your name. Uh, but I've added all these charms to it. So I've got the Enderman charm in here, and they do have a durability. Um, so be aware of that if you're ever using it. But if you go up to a mob, let's say an Enderman, look, I'm going to look him directly in the face. Not even touching me. Not even touching me. I, it's like frozen solid. He's not going to hurt me. I could just go up to every Enderman now and hit them. So those charms that I thought were junk that I was getting out of the, uh, the reward bags are actually fantastic. Um... They work perfectly. Um, anyway, right, let's talk about more updates. So I've added a few more storage uh, drawers. I've got all my loot bags and things in here. Um, yeah, I, I even added the slave, which is down there, so it can extend a bit more. Um, so yeah, just a, just a little thing extra that I've done. I need to change these mechanical crafters uh, for a different style of crafter, and I will get to that eventually. 
Um, I promise. Can you, can you just... Please, just start crafting. I need a speed upgrade really badly. Um, so yeah, I can, I can do all of that and get that sorted. But the best thing that I've done um, since logging on today, and this has taken me a little while, is that... Oh look, there's horses here. I threw these down here. Wow, they didn't even die from the fall. Uh, the best thing I've done is upgraded my mob spawner and... Well, as you can see, it's insane. I get all of this, I get all of this, and I get all of this. <laughs> I need to turn this off. This has been running for a little while now. Um, I didn't realize it was so bad. Um, okay. So, artifact loot bags are rubbish, I found out. Uh, I do need to set this up so that it can auto-craft loot bags for me. I might, I might do that. I don't know. I'm not sure. I might, I might might do that. No, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and tidy that up down there because it is a bit of a mess. So, yeah, I'll go and sort that out. Give me a few minutes and I'll be back shortly. Okay, so I've got rid of uh, all of that stuff now. Um, there's something I want to do. I know what Bosemanian Devil has done for me. Um, let me go see. Uh, creepers shouldn't be... Oh, yeah, they are. Uh, so, uh, this is the present. It's Bosmanian Devil's Pest Control. Uh, so, he's given me a vibrant capacitor bank, a solar panel, five. I don't, mm, I don't know whether to take that or not, uh, but I do want to take this, uh, which stops Enderman from spawning. Oh, it's even got an octavic capacitor in it. I will. Oh, that's just... Well, that's just... Yeah, that was a bit naughty, but... I'm going to take that. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to... I'm going to take the Vibrant. And, alright, it's it's unlocked a quest for me. It's kind of cheating. I'm not going to take the... Well, I don't... Do I... I'm not sure. I'm not sure whether I should take it or not. So, let's take that out. Uh, let's swap that for the Vibrant. Because that's got more storage. There we go. Yep, that'll start slowly, slowly, but surely filling up, right? Please? Uh, where did the other guy go? Where did, where did, uh, did you get picked up by the uh, vacuums? Oh, I didn't have my magnet on. Let me just check. Did it? Did it land down? No, I lost that, didn't I? That totally, totally disappeared. Okay, well, never mind. It's it's only a normal capacitor. It's not the end of the world. How is this doing? This is draining power, where it should be producing power. That's fine because we've got these over here, which I'm now deciding I'm going to take. Um, magnet, please work for me. Yes, solar array. Thank you. Uh, yeah, we got two of those. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to steal these for sure. I'm going to put them all the way up here, and uh, they can start producing power on top of this place. I guess. Now, normally I wouldn't do this. Normally I'd be like, no, I I want to make my own stuffs, uh, but oh, it's fine. <laughs> It'll be fine. Let's see uh, what the power is now then that those manians give us that. Uh, there we go. 858 RF a tick. Oh yes. Thank you very much. Right. Now let's put down this guy. Um, which should connect automatically to that. Which is getting power. So let's put that in there. So it's kind of being offset by this. Show range. Show me the range where Enderman will go away now. It's not... It's not showing the range. So it prevents spawning. Doesn't prevent them sticking around. Go away. Okay, let's get rid of this. So they should no longer spawn? Did that one just go, like, totally through the nether portal? He's, he's in the nether. What a weird dude. Oh, and I took this down as well. Um, don't feel I need to be creating lava anymore when I already have, like, a cow doing it for me. Um, 
I guess there's no real real need for it, is there? Uh, how are we doing? Uh, 5,000 buckets. <laughs> I'm going to take these now. Uh, the reason being is... I want that. Give me that. Uh, the reason being is... Um, I'll need them eventually. And um, I might as well make use of them. It saves me... I mean, I already am uh, getting withered skeletons. So I, I really don't see it being an issue. Where did I put... I could have swore I just had a load of loot bags. And I'm not even sure where I put all of those now. Did I put them... Ah, into here. Yes, because I want to open these loot bags up. And... Um, and see what we can get out of them. Let me just throw you into there. Um, <clears throat> so these are the um, the legendaries. These are the legendary loot bags, and uh, I want to see what's possible to come out of this. So if we head over to here, how are we doing? Yeah, we've got the room. Okay, let's do this. Uh, I did also turn on the auto refill that everybody kept telling me to turn on. I didn't know how you did it, uh, but I think it was Kanajan that uh, told me. So thank you for doing that. I really do appreciate it. Angelic feather. What's the uses for that then? What's the uses for that? Resurrects you from your inventory to full health with a variety of buffs. Hmm, interesting. Uh, we'll take you. We'll take you. And we will take you, but as for everything else, all turned out to be rubbish. These things are not that great anymore. Uh, it's nice that we got the uh, the Black Lotus, and the paper is, is kind of handy, but I feel like loot bags are not as OP as, uh, as they should be, uh, at least. Anyway, let me throw that into there, because I did want to look at the quest book and see where we are in terms of quests. Uh, so that is now completed. I'm going to take that. Uh, even though it's kind of cheaty, I'm taking it anyway. Uh, let's have a look at this. Base essence um, and all of this mystical agriculture uh, stuff is something we need to get into. Let's click on the Endist Revolution. Uh, we should have... Yeah, that's... That's been ticked off. Um, and then we have the, the solar panels. Uh, so, Combustion Generator... Let's see if we can make one of these guys. Um, never used it before. Don't know what it does. I'm hoping I can burn lava in it. Combustion. I can't spell bustion. There we go. This guy. So it's two fluid tanks, a piston, basic gears, and electrical steel. I have pretty much everything I need here because I have the fluid tank. Um... The basic gears, I believe, are eight of these and some iron, which I'll just grab a stack of for now. Um, so let's have a look. It's not, actually. It's cobblestone. Okay. Grab a stack of you as well, then. Uh, let's do this. And let's have two of those. One, two. Um, electrical steel, I have... Uh, there we go, electrical steel. And then it is literally, uh, uh, I want to say one piece of redstone, but I think it's two. Uh, some gold, and that is it to make the uh, capacitor uh, and copper. And copper. Copper? Yes. <laughs> I, I struggle with these. They don't really tell you uh, what they are just yet, so... That's not very nice. Right, we've got that. And then I just need... Where are they? I just saw them. I, I know they're here somewhere. Um, ah, there they are. Right, so that. Uh, that. 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 And then this. And we just need the pistons. So one of you. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we're good to go. I, I'm pretty sure. All right, I may have got a little bit of extra cobblestone, but it's fine because we have the combustion chamber, which I'm unaware of what this does. So um, let's do uses. So I can turn. I can I can paint the combustion generator, so I can turn rocket fuel and water into power. Is that right? 
or hooch and water into 60 hour fatigue or fire water which I have a bucket of and normal water into 80 hour fatigue so the best one is rocket fuel and that gets me 160 RF a tick. Right. Okay. And does this thing take power? Because, I mean, this is this is a fluid cow situation here, for sure. Uh, let me place that down. So it does require power, and if I can pump those liquids into there, which is doable then I can generate more RF, I believe. Uh, okay, let's, let's put this right here. Okay, how's this doing? It's, uh, it's slowly gaining some power, that's good. Um, do we have a rocket fuel cow? I think we did and I killed it, right? Uh, liquid XP, um, solium, don't kill the solium cow, we need him. Um, what we got here? Uh, just a normal normal cow, that's the heavy water. Liquid dirt. In actual fact, that is... That's kind of handy. That is kind of handy. Let me just get rid of all these guys, because then that allows other things to spawn. That's, that's why I do this and go around and, and murder all these innocent animals. Also, free food. Obviously, um, I now I know people will be thinking, "Where's the juice? Where's the juice?" Uh, I do intend on getting to the juice, uh, but not at the moment because um, I can't. What's this? Energized glowstone. I think I have an energized glowstone, so I'm going to get rid of that one. It doesn't matter if I don't because they will come back eventually. Uh, there we go. Right. Okay. So uh, we did that. So that means we can claim this guy and. Um, I think we should move on to the... Uh, did I not claim that? Um, done. You. Blue chest. Claim. Thank you. Done. I think we should move on to the double layer capacitor. I haven't made one of these for a little while. Um, but yeah, let's, let's do that because we, we can add it as an upgrade to a machine. So... Double layer capacitor, which is energetic alloy. Energetic alloy is glowstone, redstone, and gold. So let's make uh, a stack, a stack, and a stack of you in here. Uh, so we can get this cooking. There we go. Cool. Um, let's see if I can get rid of what I have got in my inventory. Uh, now, somebody said to me that this can be upgraded even further. Uh, so I'm going to give it a go. Magnet, please. Thank you. Uh, and it's going to take eight of these. I don't know whether this is true. I haven't even looked up the recipe, but I'll give it a go. The Endist Furnace. Um, and now, if I wanted to take it a little further, I could do this. Um, how's this machine doing here? You're, you're doing just fine. Let's take you and we'll take you. Uh, where did you go? Where did, you, did I pick them up? I did not pick them up. Where did they go? Oh, you, 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 you picked them up. Yes, you, you and you. Right, okay, so if we take this over here and find our Supremium cow. There we go. Uh, let's just use a piece of cobblestone now. So, 116. How cool is that? So, if I place this here like so, and I intend on doing this uh, at some point, not today, but at some point I will, and place this here, I should be able to pull out a Supremium Ingot. How about that? And I need... <laughs> There's another quest completed. I need eight of these, I think? I 
think it was eight. Uh, yeah, eight. I need eight of these. And I don't know whether these can press down into the Supremium Nuggets. Okay. So, that's a shame. But it's all good. Supremium stuffs. We'll, we'll take it all day long. And if I was to put a redstone clock on here, this will just drain out loads for me. Uh, what happened to my tank here? It's, it's changed its color. Oh well. As long as it's pouring out Supremium, I don't care. How many have we got? Seven. This is the last one then. Hopefully it's eight Supremium ingots around this furnace to, to make it to the, the final tier. No. Okay, let's, um, let's collect these up. Let's just check. Let's see whether we can... Supremium. How do we get this? So we can take a Supremium block. Okay, well let's go and grab one more of those. Do, 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 do. We'll make a block and then we'll get nine essence. How sweet is this? I didn't know... Uh, that that was doable, but looks like it is. And then if we get the essence, we can surround it with the thing, and we've done the thing, and then we have the thing. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about, right? So if we take that, do. You... Hey. I want. Supreme. Hey. Well. So we'll just use the endest one for now. I really thought that was going to be an easy fix. Right, let's take these out of here. Uh, what have we got that we can smelt down? I want to test this out. Um, oh, I know. Let's grab... Um, let's grab... What have we got? 66, 91. Let's grab a stack of you. Dude, you're not supposed to spawn here anymore. I don't think that thing's working. Um, let's put those in. Uh, that could have been lag. It's it's fairly fast. It's pretty good. It is pretty good. Um, okay, so uh, double layers. They this should be done now. Do we think? Yeah, that'll do. Um, so the double layer capacitor. is uh, some pulverized coal, which I think I have, and some basic capacitors, uh, which again, fairly easy stuff. Let's just grab uh, a few of these. And uh, one, two, three, four of you. There we go, let's turn those into the nuggets, and do this, and do that. I need four, please. What am I missing? The two redstone. One, two, three, four. There we go. So I have the four of those. I have that. I just need the pulverized coal. Which I don't really want to go around looking at every single chest, but I do know I have some somewhere. We have two. And how many do I need? Two. Excellent. <laughs> Perfect. It's it's almost like I knew it was coming. Right, there we go. So let's do that. That gets me the two of those. And that should be that quest completed. Which is fantastic. Because that means that I can place uh, one of you in there. And uh, one of you in... Uh, yeah, let's put it in there. Because I'm wondering what a... So... Burn rate 133%. Let's... Let's do a little test. Let's do a little test. Let's try and find a bucket. I know I've got tons of them around here somewhere. Blazing Pyrophium. That is exactly what I'm after. Uh, let me just throw all that back into there. If I put Blazing Pyrophium in here, what do I get in terms of power? Okay, can't be done then. 
Okay, all right, I was just curious, anyway. Um, so this is supposed to prevent spawning? Show range. Range is not working. Have I not got the redstone mode on? Maybe. Always active. Range 160, but Enderman still spawn. Go away. Yeah, I don't feel like this is working. Um, okay, so let's look at what we got in terms of a reward. Let's take this. And uh, I think that'll do for today. We've got this, so we may as well claim that one as well. Uh, we need to get into these solar panels, definitely, so that we can start making some... Uh, some progress in power generation but let's have a look at the loot bags or loot chests that we got we get tier one chance pendant not that great let's be honest it's not that great diamond shield hmm what's a diamond shield used for i can pulverize it down into six diamonds or i can sag mill it down well it's a no-brainer pulverize it down is that all it does does it go? Ah, oh, it's an actual shield. Yeah, I'll just probably pulverize it down. Go away, please. Um, okay. Two loot chests to go. Let's see what we get. Ah. I didn't want those. I really didn't want those. Okay, and the final loot chest. Magma Cube Charm. That's okay. I've, I'm not sure whether I already have one of those, though. Uh, zombie, Slime, Spider, Skeleton, Witch, Enderman, Guardian. Yeah, Magma Cube can go in. That's cool. All right, okay. Well, guys, unfortunately, uh, that's going to have to be the end of this episode. I know it's a bit of a short one, but... I mean, we got some, some cows milked. Uh, we've got base essence coming in here. Uh, thick and fast. Uh, no, that's platinum. Uh, this is base essence. No, that's silver. This is base essence. Base essence. Uh, coming in thick and fast. So, um, that's going to help us out. Uh, just a few cows to check out quickly. What do we get? Uh, Zephrian Erophium. Don't even know what that is. Have not got a clue. Uh, that's the liquid dirt cow. That's the solium cow. we got molten bronze. Do we need bronze? I don't think so. Let's get rid of that guy. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it there um, for today. If you did enjoy, please do hit that like button down below. Um, also, if you're new to my channel, then please do subscribe for daily Minecraft videos. Uh, please do tell all your friends about the channel. And if anybody knows what that cow is useful, then please do let me know. Um, yeah, uh, there's going to be no video uh, before... Is it before the stream? Yeah, before the... the no, I don't know. Either way, I'm, I'm taking a day off. It could be before this one or after. Um, cause, cause it's, it's my birthday, uh, so I'm just gonna do a live stream and, and that's gonna be it for that day. Um, but yeah, uh, if you wanna come and join the server, then all you have to do is head on over to Patreon. Link is in the description down below. And, um, yeah, if you follow the instructions there, you'll be able to come and play on the server, uh, with everybody else. And, um, if you wanna subscribe to the $10, you get the Discord access and, uh, a thank you at the end of the video as well. So, um, yeah, thanks very much for watching. I'm just on the bean. This has been Project Dozone Light. Good. Bye!